This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in an Audi Q6 e-tron, and in this video, I'm gonna test the headlights. So this is a quite uh, fully spec uh, uh, e-tron. It costs a little bit over one million. Oh shit! What the heck? Man? Okay, let me disable that, and then disable this. Okay, I have to disable some safety features. But uh, we should have some matrix lights, and um, yeah, and this is a German car, so I expect really good headlights. Let's see, it is an out. Oh, what the heck! Damn! <laughs> this is some next level shit. Yeah, uh, man. Lately, I've been testing some Chinese cars with shit the headlights. This, this is almost like we have lead bar. Wait, what the heck, man? Oh, okay, disable that. I think I didn't disable it. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, there was some uh, speed limit warning, which is weird because... No, no, it's not. Okay, it's fine. But wow, it shines high and bright. Really impressive. Oh, look at that. It, uh, it does some uh, matrix action towards the sign also. Hmm, maybe it doesn't blind me. I need to test this uh, once we get to speed. Well, actually, we can test the one uh, further down the road, well, in the motorway. Wow, look at this. <laughs> It is so nice and bright. Wait, does it change focus when I cha turn the wheel though? Uh, that one seems to be... Well, I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure... Yeah, it seems like it focuses on the direction we are driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't, doesn't seem like it turns, but it just goes brighter. Wow, this is really good. So, um, yeah, the Q4 e-tron is based on the MEB platform. So there we have the ID lights where we're actually, no, no, I'm not sure. Oh, you see, I saw the deer. Did you see the deer? I mean, let me zoom in so you see better. Oh, it went. Da, da, da. Oh, look at those nice legs. No, 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 don't stop. Wait, wait, okay, no, no, manual on now. Wow, it is so bright. B bright and shines wide and high. Whoa, this is heaven. Are these headlights the best I ever tried? Well, maybe. Okay, okay let, me, let me try. Okay, um, I need to switch. Let me see how they do this. Sorry for the... Uh, there, there, okay. Let me switch over to dipped headlights. Okay, okay. Now we are on manual. I need to see the difference between high beam. Wait, 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 this, okay. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That is incredibly strong and wide and bright and also shines high wow but let me see now that we are in manual then yeah i'm not sure if if that was even the in the auto but uh, man this is how it should be in every car you know safety should not be uh, compromised so well but i just wonder if i have it in this manual mode if i get uh, yeah, if I lose out on some uh, some automatic uh, whatever going on cornering lights or whatever they're talking about, but wow, it is wonderful to drive around here at night. Okay, low beam, it's low as it should be, but the high beam is just incredible. It is just insanely good. Let me see. We have to try the farm inspection. Okay, so you see here, right? Okay, uh, yeah, and then. Boom! <laughs> okay, yeah, it shines also far enough so you can see all the way to the bend there. Wow. Wow. But, okay, I'm trying to figure out, are these better than the ID lights? You know, the one the one that is in ID3, ID4, or Skoda Enyaq? I believe so. I'm not sure, but yeah, I wonder if they're actually shining wider, you know? Like, I'm thinking this is right on par with the BMW i7, which is, which I at least consider the, the strongest uh, headlight until now. Uh, I don't remember what was the, the minus with the ID7, but let me just show you here. Oh, sorry, the i7. Um, the farm inspection. Look, look here. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, <laughs> you have this nice wide band that lights up. It's just, oh, wow. And also, I remember the, the regular e-tron 55, you know, or, or then later the Q8 e-tron. 
mm, did I try the Q8? I'm getting old, I don't remember. But the, the e 55 didn't have that great headlights. You could subscribe to it, yeah, you could pay, you could you could buy the headlight, you know, with software update or whatever, but or you could just pay per month. But I tried it, the best headlight from previous gen, and it wasn't that great. But this is just some next level shit, man. Oh, <laughs> it is really good. Holy crap. The only thing maybe is missing is the like EQS is that it should focus more on the yeah Maybe a, a twist or whatever, but let me switch over to auto again Okay, automatic lights. All right, let me see uh, and then pull it. Yeah, yeah okay. See. Okay, and when you do this It just it just animates like, like oh, yeah, yeah, you, you like that you like this shit uh -huh. Wow I can do this all day, or actually all night, rather, yeah. But I'm um, trying to find out more. Okay, so if I go slow, it. I also like that it works at low speed. Because some places, you might need to drive slow in some twisty parts. Yeah. And then I want the lights to stay on, a headlight, I mean high beam. Uh, okay, now, okay, now we found some street lights, okay. Then it turns off, that's fine, it's fair. We have good enough vision anyway to see any obstacles but uh, let's see if we go over here yeah there'll be another uh, stretch but yeah sorry it, this took a little bit longer than normal uh, i could of course just hammer through the uh, section faster but i just want to try to experience how it is okay, now let's see once we get into the dark side how long does it take before it fires up uh that is a bit slow okay there it comes <laughs> but just w when it comes on it's just like BAM! Who turned on the sun? <laughs> the day, yeah. Wow. The alien light. Oh, this is some alien technology right there. Okay, but we need to test some matrix stuff. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can find some traffic. Okay, now we're on the B roads. We'll follow the traffic. See what happens. Oh, okay. Fires up. The matrix. blocks out oncoming traffic and then oh makes a nice uh, box around the car in front lights up the sides yeah doing a pretty good job uh, let me see I'm gonna do the usual this and this you see that yeah just to show you the box but it seems to have a, a large enough box so it doesn't uh, interfere with the traffic in front but see it lights up the trees on the side there yeah, uh, you see what I see, right? And then let's see, after the truck passes, then there, lights up the side of the road. Give okay, me an oncoming car. We're going to fire up the high beam. Uh, yeah, there you go, bam. And then oncoming car, all right. Blocks on that, but still lighting up the trees on the side there. And then another car. Okay. Eventually, we have to check on the Autobahn because previously, uh, the, the, the previous gen uh, e-tron, even the Q8 e-tron, I would get so many flashes on the oncoming traffic because it would turn off late and it wouldn't detect uh, properly or I don't know, man. I'm going to test with this. What about station lights? Does it uh, detect that or... Uh, okay, blocks at that. Yeah, you see, okay, what's well, somewhat confused by that station light which is on the house. So it's of course hard to figure out if that station of light is a car or not. So it's not that smart. It's not. It's not based on fuzzy logic. <laughs> okay, well, but now we have a little dip down the hill here, and an oncoming car. Um, it seems to have fairly many elements you see here, but it's not the pixel lights like um, EQS or um, Polestar Two. But uh, this is way better than the previous gen Fat e-tron. Oh, interesting. We are now on the motorway, but uh, it fires up the high beam even with street lights on. Maybe it's because the street light is on the other side, so the car detects that there is not sufficient light on this side. But that's good because uh, there could be smaller animals on the side of the road, but that we couldn't see, even though we have fences here. And then let's see, if you approach that car in front, what will happen then? You can clearly see that the right side of the road is uh, quite well lit up. So this this is good safety. 
yeah, it's safer than to have a high beam off. Let's see, how close can I go? Can I go out the distance, close to the car in front? Let's see, I think I've set the distance to one now. How close does it go then? Oh, but that, okay, that's pretty close. <laughs> yeah, this is very close, man. Um, yeah. Oh, it's bringing Kona. Huh? In Kona going at 80 kilometers per hour in the 100 zone. Well, well, well. But, uh, oh, now it's just distance. But okay, let me just hammer it. Oh, this thing is quick. And then it should fire up the high beam again, right? After that. Uh, now, now the high beam is, uh, the symbol is uh, white, not blue. Hmm. Okay, there's some randomness here. It's not firing up the high beam anymore. I would like to have some high beam on the side of the road. Come on, bitte schön. S'il vous plaît. No? Okay, so it seems like it's a bit random, whether it works or not. Right now we're on the dark side of the motorway, so... Um, Let's see how the car reacts to uh, different elements. It fires up on the big sign by the road. Um, blocks out the car in front, blocks out the oncoming car. We have these lights on the middle divider, which is quite unique. I don't see them many other places. I'm also hugging the left lane, which is uh, quite a realistic uh, test for Audi drivers. See, yeah, okay, it's doing a bit of blockage here and there. Okay, fires up. You can see quite clearly once it's on or it's off since the headlights are so bright. But um, so far, we haven't uh, blinded oncoming traffic and haven't flashed at yours. But it could maybe be because we have those uh, center lights or whatever it's called, the middle uh, divider lights. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's been programmed to not light up on the left side or not. No, it seems like it does light up. Yeah, okay. We're just happy to pass by uh, an old fat e-tron. And then boom, to right. Oh, all right. Well done. We get over to the right lane. See what happens then with oncoming traffic. And then, as long as there's no traffic, then it fires up uh, pretty much everything, right? Oncoming traffic turns off. Oh, okay, nice. I think I'll get more impression once I go to Sweden. Yeah, 1000 km challenge, Sweden, this weekend. I experience more how it is over there. But, um, yeah, at least uh, what I've seen now, it's uh, doing a pretty good job. Haven't seen any weird stuff going on. And I just remember now, yeah, the reason why uh, the i7 didn't get full score was because it didn't have the pixel light. It was matrix and I felt like the resolution was somewhat low for a high-end car like that. So, um, if I would rate these headlights, uh, okay, it doesn't get full score, it doesn't get 10 out of 10 because it's not uh, pixel but still matrix still pretty high resolution and just the brightness and the punchiness the spread is just outstanding so i'd say a good nine yeah if nine and a half was possible i would probably also give nine and a half but okay not a nine because okay it gets also a little bit minus point because uh, at least i didn't see that uh, it would turn in the curves so yeah anyway i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later